Thank you, everyone, uh, for those who attempted the CT head case I posted on the Facebook page. So let's just go through this case. This case lives on our case directory for the course, uh, the light box. Um, so these are all the different topics. This lives in ischemic stroke. Okay, so this is the case, case number five. Um, so let's just look at this. Going to scroll through it slowly. Now, many of you, so this is the slide I had given you guys. Many of you thought that this was an infarct because uh, they saw this low density, which appeared to be in the PCA territory. Remember that not all low density is infarct. Low density can be because of inflammation. It can be because of edema. It can be because of infection. It can be because of cell death. And so this sort of distribution should be making you think, should be making you think about is this vasogenic edema? Vasogenic edema is something that you get as a result of a mass of, or too much pressure. And you can see that this there's a little mass right at the sort of posterior aspect on the occipital lobe. There's a mass with all this low density right next to it. So this is vasogenic edema. The other sort of edema, the low density that you see as a result of infarct, is called cytotoxic edema. That's when you've got cell death and that low density reaches right to the end. It involves the gray cells, the cortex. And this low density does not reach the end. You've got this other knobbly stuff going on. That's not normal. A lot of people thought there was some hemorrhage going on. Hemorrhage is, uh, if, it was, if it was acute hemorrhage, it would be hyperdense. And this is more sort of mass-like. This is more sort of soft tissue density. And so as we scroll further down, you can see this low density, but then what's all this? This sort of mass-like thing. It almost mimics, to some extent, a PCA infarct. And if it was reported as a PCA infarct, this patient may end up having thrombolysis, and this mass could bleed uh, and causing the patient real trouble. So this is actually vasogenic edema as a result of this mass. If this is, was an infarct, you'd get this low density going right to the edge, but it's not. So vasogenic edema does not involve the gray cells, the cortex, whereas cytotoxic edema, which is what you get as a result of an infarct, A, it, it, it respects a vascular territory, and B, it involves most often the cortex as well. This does not. You can see the cortex is intact. It's almost crowded. The cortex is always pushed. Uh, it's actually not involving the cortex. Uh, and then you've got this sort of mass-like thing. Uh, so this is in uh, the actual diagnosis in this was a GBM, but you can't really nail the diagnosis. The main thing I was looking for on the Facebook page was that this is a mass and this is vasogenic edema. In fact, we've actually got a um, post-contrast study in this case. So same patient, uh, we've given this patient contrast. You can see a syringe enhancing irregular lesion with surrounding vasogenic edema. And that's all you can say from this. But there's an entire differential for ring enhancing lesions. A it could be infection, an abscess, it could be a metastasis, it could be a primary brain tumor, and then you've got other th less common things. So, for example, lymphoma. It can be, although lymphoma doesn't typically look like this, uh, it can be toxoplasmosis, and even certain uh, tumor factor multiple sclerosis can almost have a ring-like appearance, and especially patients who, who are immunocompromised, then they have, uh, then you've got to think about the more unusual lesions. But essentially, this patient would need an MRI. The point being in this case that you really need to identify that this is not cytotoxic edema. Cytotoxic edema is because of an infarct. This is vasogenic edema. This completely changes uh, what you think and the, the differential. This is not an infarct. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, uh, we will cover things later on. But if you really want to get an entire grasp of the entire concepts of CT head reporting, uh, do join us on our course. Thank you.